In this video, I'm going to show you another technique of integration. I'm going to show you how to use integration by parts to solve calculus problems, specifically ones that have a polynomial in the integrand. Now, uh, there are some other functions that don't have a polynomial in the integrand, and I'll, that's in an upcoming video. That's uh, another technique of integration by parts, which I'll show you. But for the purpose of this example here, for the, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you how to use integration by parts to solve a problem, to solve an integral that has uh, a polynomial in the integrand. So it's going to be a product of a polynomial, okay, a polynomial and something else. So to do this, this is how you would do it. First off, you have to make a table. Okay, so in this question here, we're supposed to find uh, the integral of f at x dx. We're supposed to find the integral of this function here, uh, just the indefinite integral, so we don't have any intervals to integrate over. So to do this, what we have to do is we have to make a table. Okay, and the table's got two columns. Okay, and one of them's got derivatives on one side, and the other one has integrals on one side. Whenever you're performing integration by parts that involves the product of a polynomial and something else, like a sine function, you always want to make sure that you have the polynomial in the derivatives column. So what do I mean by that? So here, x squared, what you're going to do is you're going to take the, the derivative of f, x squared, so it goes to 2x, you're going to take the derivative of 2x, it goes to 2, and you're going to take the derivative of 2, and it goes to 0. So you're just going to keep taking the derivative until you get to 0, that's where you stop. And then on the integral side, you're going to keep taking the integral. So you're going to take the integral of sine 2x plus 1. You get this uh, cosine function here. You're going to take the integral of this function. You're going to get this sine function. And then you, get the, you take the integral of this sine function. And you get this cos function here. Okay, and then you stop right beside the 0. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a minus sign here. And you'll see why in just a bit. I'm going to put a plus sign here and a minus. So you can alternate minus, plus, minus, and if the columns go on and on, you just keep going minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, until you get to the zero. So there we have it right here. And then the next step is I'm going to draw arrows. Okay. So I'm going to draw an arrow from the x squared, okay, from the top, pointing to this cos here. And then I'm going to draw an arrow from this 2x pointing here. And I'm going to draw an arrow from this to pointing here. So why is that important? Well, the reason why is because it tells us how to organize our, uh, of our integral. Okay, so when we go ahead and solve this, okay, and, I'll, and I'll show you what, uh, what all this means. Okay, so when we have the integral of x squared times sine 2x plus 1 dx. This is what we are going to do. So we're going to take the x squared and we're going to multiply it by this negative cos 2x plus 1 over 2. So we're going to go x squared times negative cos 2x plus 1 right, over 2. Okay, so this times this times this. Then we're going to go minus minus 2x times this. So we're going to be minus 2x times negative sine, negative sine 2x plus 1 over 4, okay, plus 2 times cos 2x plus 1 plus 8, plus co, uh, sorry, plus 2 times cos 2x plus 1 over 8 plus c. 
and that is our integral. Okay, that is integration by parts. So what we can do is we can simplify this. I'm not gonna go through all the steps for simplifying, I'm just gonna go right to the final. Now what it will, it will look like at the end, so it will look like this, it will look like negative x squared cos 2x plus 1 divided by 2 plus x sine 2x plus 1 divided by 2 plus cos 2x plus 1 divided by 4 plus c. Okay, and this right here is our answer. This entire expression here, that is the integral. So, I'm going to scroll down and we're going to do another example of um, integration by parts. Okay, so we have this example here. So we have the function g at x is equal to 2 times 3x, or sorry, times x cubed minus 3 times e to the x. And we're asked to find g at x dx. So as you can see here, I've created my table of derivatives and integrals. So on this side, you're on the derivative side, you're always going to have, okay, you're always going to have the polynomial on the derivative side. And then the other, whatever this might be, it could be a sine function, a cosine function, a tan, whatever, you're always going to have that on the integral side. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go minus, plus, minus, and plus. Then I'm going to draw my arrows. It's a different color. I'm going to draw my arrows like so. And like so. Okay, and then we can go ahead and evaluate our integral. Okay, so in the same manner that we did the previous example, so when we want to evaluate the integral of 2x cubed minus 3 times e to the x, that is going to be 2 times x cubed minus 3 times e. Okay, so 2 times x cubed minus 3 times e to the x, okay? Minus 6x squared times e to the x. Minus 6x squared times e to the x, okay? Plus 12x times e to the x. Plus 12x times e to the power of x minus 12 times e to the x, minus 12 times e to the power of x, okay? And then we're going to put our plus c at the end, okay? And the reason why we stop here is because if you go plus e times, uh, sorry, yes, plus uh, 0 times e to the x, that's just going to be 0, so that's why we stop there. And so if we were to simplify it, like this, this is exactly our uh, integral right here. But if we wanted to make this look even nicer, we can simplify. We can factor out the e, get e to the x. And then of course, we'd open up this bracket and collect the terms. We would get this function here, e to the x times 2x to the power of 3 minus 6x squared plus 12x minus minus 15 15 plus c and this right here is our 
answer. So there you go, there you have it. That is integration by parts. Be sure to see the next video, which involves integration by parts. We're gonna talk about uh, where it's gonna be the integrand, or sorry, where the integrand includes a polynomial and a logarithmic function, because it is slightly different than this method here.